Hello everyone, welcome again and uh, today I'm going to show you a demo of another project which is J2E project and the project name is College Management System. So let's talk about the technology in the frameworks that we are using. So it's uh, in advanced Java, so it's using, it's a web application and it's using JSP servlet uh, to manage the resources. Also it's using MBC architecture, so the bean package is there, controllers are there, so it's contain all the servlets and exception package model package and the util package so it's using complete mbc architecture to manage the backend things here is the java section and here we have a view section under the view section we have a jsp uh, that is obviously contain the html code inside that it's a combination of jsp and html so we have a different dedicated folder for the css images another thing that is using in the java it's using pom.xml so it's managing all the dependencies uh, yeah. Uh, so to run the application or as a code editor, we are using a Spring STS tool. We can also use Eclipse in that. Uh, we can also use Eclipse in that. And uh, okay, now to deploy the application, we are using Tomcat server. So let's run the application and check how the output will show. So currently my server is in running. So I just stop the server right click on the project go to run as run on server select server and click on finish automatically application uh, server will run start and application will deploy over the chrome browser so this will be your home page now let's check the demo and the features and functionality of the user that can interact in the application and that can uh, perform the operation so this will be your home page and user will click on the home page it will be in the same page and then here we have a footer section and okay that's good so we have two different roles in this project first one is faculty login and second is uh, student login so to provide login option to get the login into the master system we have to go into the database so to manage the backend things we are using mysql database and this is the mysql workbench ui so i'm using this this is a uh, college management system project so to check the user id and password i just view the data of the faculty table so to view the table right click here select roles limit 1000 and then you will see the data some dummy data is there so i'm going to use some dummy records so hurry123 is a username and 123 is a password for the faculty make sure when you're going to enter the password for the faculty you have to be on the page of faculty login I just enter the pass, uh, username and the password is already saved in my browsers. I click on the sign in button. Yeah, a faculty is able to log in here. Now, <clears throat> what this faculty can do, this faculty can check the list of all the faculties. Also, it can add a new faculty. So, let's say for dummy purpose, I'm going to add a faculty. I just fill up some dummy data and username, password and the email address. Okay, gender. Email and first name, mother name, and address. I just click on the save button. So data is saved successfully. Now, if I will refresh the table for faculty, you will see the new record is there. And also in the faculty list, you will see the new record. Also, you can perform the multiple operation here. Like you can search uh, faculty here by name. You can search faculty by email. You can reset the record. Let's say I'm gonna search this faculty by name. I just enter the name, click on the search. Data will be filtered automatically. When we click on the reset, data will come again. Also, uh, by checking this, just check this. Click on the delete operation. You will it will delete the record that we just added. We can edit the record also. Let's uh, edit this record and edit the number as a this number. Click on save. Now, if I view the faculty list, the number is updated. Okay, fine. Now, other option we have e resources here. Now, under the e resources, uh, we can add uh, resources like subject code. Let's say I'm gonna add a subject code as a uh, one two three four CA and uh, subject name. Let's say Java. And I wanna enter the Java link, so I just enter one tutorial link here click on the save so the link is added when i check the resources link list resources list under the e-note section 
I can check all the resources. Also, you can perform the common operation like uh, search, edit, deleter operations will be there. Also, next previous button is there that will be enabled once the record will reach a limit like 10 records or more than 10 records, then the buttons will be enabled. Okay. Another thing, if you want to add a question, uh, so I can add a question into the question bank. I can check the question, add a question here. So this is another module and if I want to add any complaint for anyone uh, like uh, for a student so I can just uh, put up the uh, U U USN number and category related to the description. Also uh, as a faculty I can check the uh, all the complaints or uh, grievance of the students and same functionality for the faculty. So I can add a grievance for the faculty and check the data for the faculty. Under the achievement section, I can add as a faculty, I can add the achievements. So under which category, certificate link and description. The date has saved successfully. Now if I check the achievements, I can check the list here. Some common operation will be there like my profile. So I can update or want to change my password. So I can uh, update my profile. Also, I can change my password. So here also option to change the password. So if I enter demo it's using proper validation so in case if you enter some random data it will say new date new and confirm password doesn't match let's say match this one two three and one two three now it will show the message old password is invalid that's it uh, that's it from the uh, faculty side another option we have a logout now let's log in as a sign and as, as, as an student and make sure what a student can do so if I go there and check right click on the student table and view the data of the student there is a one student in that database right now so I'm gonna view the uh, enter the username and the password for the student also make sure when you log in into the student you should be on the page of the student login so you have to hit this button first okay uh, under the student section I can I have access for the e resources. I have access for the questions. I can uh, add a complaint, uh, any grievance, and I can have a, uh, complaints of all the students. I can add achievement. I can check the list of achievements. The same profile option will be there, and the chain password will be there. So same logout, and that's it. So here we have a footer section okay uh, apart from that we have a multiple tables in the database so achievement is a table education is a table e resources faculty uh, complaints and events and students so these many tables are there it's using my school workbench 8.0 and uh, other thing or technology we have already discussed now let's come to the point and if you want the source code you can contact us over the whatsapp or you can mail us over the jcode one at the gmail.com and the contact detail will be there in the description box you can view the link you can check the complete detailed technology that you're using in this project and if you want that project you can contact us we have a remote support so don't worry about the configuration and how the project will run at your machine we have that remote remote team that will take completely responsibility uh, to run the project we have that service so you can buy that service or during that service uh, We will connect with you over the zoom or any desk and will set up the project at your machine and it will work same as those in this demo. Thank you